What happiness a letter can bring. I think the ball is my favourite toy, thought Spot. Bringing you the best in children's video. school song? Let's sing it. Here we go. trombone like Scott. Slide it in and out. Oh, we can play on the slide trombone and this is the way we do it. And this is the way we do it. Here's Rick on the timpani. Timpani, drums that can play a tune. Come on. play together, they're called an orchestra. We're going to see an orchestra now. Trisha will show you. Hello. Can you see all these people here? Well, everyone in the orchestra has got an instrument to play music. 
music with. They're practicing their music, getting their fingers ready, checking that their instrument's making the right together. Did you see the timpani? What about all those people blowing into their instruments? And the, the violins playing like that. Uh oh, looks like they're going to start again. This music begins very softly. sounds in the music and the big swirly sound mm. music can make you think of different things yes ways of moving make you feel happy or sad mm. and sometimes you can think of animals we're going to see some animals now through the windows elephants and we'll hear some elephant music too through the arched window.
Another elephant. That sounds like another elephant. Are you moving like an elephant? Hold on, an elephant grow Dear me, does anybody know? Hold on, an elephant grow conductor. He littered his baton and the orchestra breathed in. <laughs> he waved his baton and the music began. Da 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 dum. Da 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 dum. He swayed and the music grew louder. Da 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 da. He frowned and the music died down. When Orlando went home, he conducted the music on the radio. Dum dum da dum bum 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 da 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 dum. He conducted his son, who was cooking spaghetti. La 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 la. He conducted his daughter as she did her jogging. Jog 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 jogging along. He conducted his children off to bed. La la di da da dum, ba da di 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 dum. Orlando.
Orlando conducted the plumber who was fixing a blockage in the sink. And the tilers who were putting new tiles on the roof. Orlando conducted the rain and the wind. And he conducted the sun to come up. On Saturday morning, Orlando conducted the shoppers at the market. On Saturday afternoon, he conducted the lettuces in the garden. And on Saturday night, he conducted his orchestra in the concert hall. La da da dum, la da da dum. Oh, but one day Orlando sprained his wrist. Oh, poor Orlando, he's fallen over the rubbish bin. He could not conduct. But the radio went on playing. His son cooked a nice dinner. His daughter went jogging and the children went to bed. The plumber finished the plumbing. The tilers finished the roof. The shoppers went shopping and the lettuces grew and grew. The rain came down and the sun came out. All without Orlando. They didn't need Orlando. But the symphony orchestra put up a notice. Due to unforeseen circumstances, all concerts are cancelled until further notice. The musicians couldn't play their music without Orlando. And all the members of the orchestra sent to Orlando 163 cards saying, get well soon. Without you, we can do nothing. The orchestra needed their conductor. A clap for the conductor and the orchestra. Yeah. Yes, you often clap your hands when people do something really well. Well done. Bravo, bravo. Yes. More clapping. Keep going. George is putting his violin away in a special case. 
wrapping it up. And Marjorie is uh, cleaning out her clarinet. <laughs> Gets a bit wet after you've been playing it, does it? Yeah. <laughs> ah, that's how you do it. Let's see who's over here. Hello, Lynn. Hello. This is Lynn. She plays the harp. Gosh, that's lovely. Can I have a go? Yeah, have a try. All right, here we go. If it sounds like the window's music, it must be time to look through them. Which window this time? We've had the arched one. Let's look through the round window. Here comes Lynn's music. Can you follow the way, Here's Jessica with a violin. Rub it up and down this way. What about cleaning the varnish there? Do you want to clean that? Very gently. Do you want to hold your violin and pluck the strings? And sing? song Jessica's mother's just played? That's the violin's blanket. Cover it up. Put the violin away. <laughs> Zip it up. Come on. Jessica's mother's going to play the piano and Jessica is going to help. Let's do Little Boy Blue. ever sing songs with someone? Perhaps when Jessica grows up, she might play the violin in an orchestra like her mother. Let's see what our orchestra is doing. The musicians are back now and they've all had a rest and they're getting ready to begin again. And the music they're going to play is called Kakadu. That's an Aboriginal word for cockatoo. Kakadu, cockatoo. And the person who wrote the music was thinking all about birds. They were thinking about birds like cockatoos. <laughs> and lots and lots of smaller birds fluttering and chirping. And if you listen hard, you might hear rain. Rain pattering on. A frog. Creatures that live at Kakadu. Roland's beginning.
all kinds of sounds in that music. I wonder what sounds Fiona can make on her violin. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. Do you know that tune? Hey Diddle Diddle! The cat and the fiddle. That's another name for a violin. You playing your fiddle? Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun and the dish ran away with the spoon. Oh, could you play that again, please, Fiona? You singing too? Here we go. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun, and the dog ran away with the spoon. There's another nursery rhyme the musicians know, and you might too. Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men could put Humpty together again. Musicians know the song for the banana. Who chases bears? Bananas in pajamas. Bananas in pajamas are tumbling down the stairs. Bananas in pajamas are tumbling down in pants. Bananas in pajamas are chasing teddy bears. On Tuesdays they will try to catch them on the way. You can't catch me. See you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye. And bye-bye from me, too. But wait for this one. <laughs>
there's a bear in there And a chair as well There are people with games And stories to tell Open wide, come inside It's play school Someone who's very quiet down in his box. Open the lid. Sounds like Jack. Hmm? Jack. Do you want a drum? All right. Okay. okay. Drum and fire. Okay. I'll be Jack. What are you going to do? You're going to be Jack. Down right? in your box. Okay. Right down. Jack. Is quiet down in his box till someone opens the lid. <laughs> Back down in your box, Jack. Again. Come on. Ready? Jack is quiet down in his box till someone opens the lid. <laughs> Very good. Here's another one. Something climbing up. 
long hand is pointing straight up. So it's something o'clock. And the short hand is pointing to the seven. So it's seven o'clock on the flower clock. And what's underneath the clock? Sitting on a log by the side of the road. Today's story is a singing story and it's called The Boy with a Drum. And here comes the boy, and there's his drum. There once was a boy with a little toy drum. Rat a tat, tat a tat, rum a tum tum. One day he went marching and played on his drum. Rat a tat, tat a tat, rum a tum tum. Soon he was joined by an old friendly cat. Rum a tum tum a tum, rat a tat tat. Then they were joined by a green spotted frog who sat by the road on an old brown log. Next they were joined by a big yellow dog who marched down the road with the green spotted frog. They marched by a field, they marched by a house and were joined by a cow and a brown furry mouse. See the mouse. They marched by a horse who was pulling a plough and he trotted behind them and followed the cow. Then they were joined by a big white duck and an old mother chicken with a cluck, 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 and a pig and a goose and a billy goat too and a big red rooster with a cock-a-doo-doo. Marching with the rat tat tat tat, the boy, with the old friendly cat, the horse and the cow, the mouse and the dog, the duck and the chicken and the pig and the frog, the goose and the rooster and a billy goat too, with a ba honk quack and a cock a doo doo, and a moo moo moo. But they squeak and a mew, mew, mew. They all, they all went marching over the hill. If they haven't stopped marching, they'll be marching still. Let's march them off again, hey? Come on. Away with the rat tat tat tat, the boy with his drum, the old friendly cat, the horse and the cow, the mouse and the dog, the duck and the chicken and the pig and the frog, the goose and the rooster and the billy goat too, with a ba honk quack and a cock a doodle doo, oink ruff ruff and a moo moo, ba oink squeak and a mew mew mew. They all marched away to the top of the hill. If they haven't stopped marching, they'll be marching still. And that's the end of the story. Here comes Tara with a drum. I'm playing a big drum. Boom, boom. Let's go marching. All right, got your drum ready? Come on. Thank you. 
too hot. You can sway and shake and bing. And when the music stops, you can freeze. Freeze. Huh. Not move. Be still, just like a statue. Oh. And when the music starts? Warren, oh. when the music starts? Yeah, Warren. Oh. Take your time, Warren. And when the music starts? Yeah. You can stand your feet. <laughs> you can knock your knees. You can sway. Put 
Put some cream on your arms, on your arms. Put some cream on your arms. So the sun won't do you any harm. <laughs> Very good. Put, Put some, some cream, cream on your arms, arms, on your arms. Now everywhere. Oh, okay. Put, Put some cream, cream everywhere, everywhere. everywhere. Put some cream everywhere, everywhere. Put some cream everywhere. Put some here and here and there. Put some cream everywhere, everywhere. There we go. Well, I'm all ready to go and see what John's doing. sand heaped up there because this is going to be an animal made of sand that's big enough for the body now this is going to be neck and head you know what it is you guess a long neck but no legs a giraffe with no legs Excuse me. A giraffe with no legs and seaweed at the back. No, no, it's a little something near the bottom. What's that? Um, it's uh, a horn! Yes, of course! A horn. <laughs> hey. Longhand? 
sword bang. Now for the clock. Circle. Start here. And take it round, 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 round. Can you see that? In the sand? Round, 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 round. Nearly round anyway. Yes, it's nearly round. And back to the beginning again. Now for the numbers. There are 12 numbers. You can help me count them. Start here with the number one. One. Next number, two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Range one, seven. Ooh, eight. Nine. And ten. Yes. Eleven. Twelve. That's twelve numbers. This can be the middle of the clock. Long hand pointing to the number twelve. So it's something o'clock. Now, short hand can be pointing to the six. Which one's the six? One, two, five. Six o'clock for the beach clock. This Done. clock doesn't go around like the slave school clock. Well, if the clock won't go around, we'll go around the clock. Okay. Hey! Story time! Once upon a time, long, long ago, in a faraway land, there was a castle, an invincible castle, with a big high tower, and all around the walls were turrets to guard against invaders. In the big high tower lived... Hey, princess, you're on. Come on. <laughs> you right? In the big high tower lived a princess. There was a princess long ago, long ago, long ago. There was a princess long ago, long, long ago. The princess lived in a big high tower, a big high tower, a big high tower. The princess lived in a big high tower long, long ago. Now the princess was as happy as the day is long, until one day a wicked fairy waved her wand. <gasps> <laughs> Does that sound wicked? No? What happened? It? <laughs> That's as wicked as I can get. Right, here's my wand. I'm going to wave it about. I'm going to make that princess sleep for a hundred years. <laughs> oh, wicked, wicked I am. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> a wicked fairy waved her wand, waved her wand, waved her wand. A wicked fairy waved her wand. Long, long ago, the princess slept for a hundred years, a hundred years, a hundred years, the princess slept for a hundred years, long, long ago. Now, while the princess slept, a great big forest grew all around. Oh, probably a little forest because I've only got little trees, I can't find them. Okay, a little forest it is. Okay, thank you. A little forest grew around, grew around, grew around. A little forest grew around long, long ago. Well, I'm going to have to chop it down anyway in a minute, so it's nothing up, isn't it? Yep. Now, when the princess had been asleep for a hundred years, a gallant prince came riding by. Yeah, oh, wait, wait a minute. Are you still asleep, Monica? Because your prince is running late. Okay. A handsome prince 
came riding by. A handsome prince came riding by, riding by, riding by. A handsome prince came riding by long, long ago. Sounds like a sound. Good boy. Aha! A forest. Thick forest. I shall cut it down with my trusty sword. He took his sword and cut it down. Cut it down, cut it down. He took his sword and cut it down long, long ago. Well, at last, after a lot of cutting down of trees, the prince reached the castle. He was tired, he was very, very tired, but he knew he had to reach the princess and wake her from her sleep. With one thrust of his mighty hand, he threw over the turrets. And then he crashed down, two turrets, crashed down the walls of the high tower. And at last, the handsome prince reached the princess. She woke the princess with a kiss, with a kiss, with a kiss. She woke the princess with a kiss long, long ago. Oh, hello, Prince. Oh, I've been asleep for a long time. What happened to my castle? Uh, strong wind. Sorry, I had to knock it down a little bit to get to you, my dear. <laughs> oh, I could do something mighty. I need another castle. Uh, uh, yes, I will. Okay. Yes, indeed. I think I'd better be going now, hadn't I? We get married? Well, I only really came for the kiss. Princes and princesses always get married, don't they, in stories? So, of course, of course. Okay, let's go. So, so soon? What? Oh, oh. happy pair <laughs> will marry <laughs> then. Married then. Married then. Married then. The happy pair will marry then. Long, long ago. And that's the end of the story. Prince and Princessy, we're going to do some running now. Now John has got to run from here to that yellow towel and back before we count to... Hmm. Come on, John. All right, I have to run from here round that towel and back before you count to ten. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. On your mark. Get set. Go! One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten! <laughs> How do you do it? Good. Now it's Monica's turn. Monica's okay. going to have to go and jump around the towel and back here before we count to ten. The jumping is slower than running, so I think I need some more. You want some more hmm. time? So we give us twelve then? We'll count to twelve. All right, twelve. On your mark, get set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve and a half, twelve, thirteen, ten. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've it. got an idea I'll now. I've got to sleep. No. We're going to do it differently this time. We're going to do it three-legged. Three-legged? Yes. Have you ever done three-legged? This is one card. Three legs. Okay. One, two, three. Ah. Okay. Now we've got to go to the towel and back again in ten seconds. You have to count. Do you mind if I put my arm No, no, that's much better. Okay, are you ready? Yes. On your mark. All right. Get set. Go. Oh, this way we're going to have to be quick. Don't let's argue. Remember, you've got to lift your middle leg up first. Middle okay. leg first. Okay, ready? Can you start a count? You should be back now. Can you <laughs> start again? One. <laughs> Oh, we're not very good at three-legged. <laughs> if you can take the, the thing off my leg, I'm going to have a look around the rock pools now. Okay. It's safer. I think I'm going to go for a swim. Oh, you've done it. <laughs> oh. See you later. Let's have a look at what Tom's doing up there with some other people up on the hill. Okay, why don't we do a song that we all know? Do you know um, Heads and Shoulders, the Knees and Toes? Do you know that one? Yes. Do you know that song? Heads. Shoulders, 
knees, and toes. Okay, everybody got their hands on their head? Everybody? Hands on the head. Come on, let's go. Got your hands on your head? Right. Head and shoulders, knees and toes. Sing. Knees and toes. You doing it? Knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes. We all clap hands in the air. Let's do it again. That was good. You do it again, please. Start off with the hands and head. Too big. We'll go faster. Yeah, we'll go a little bit faster. Let's get it. Put your hands on your head, everybody. Hands on your head. A little bit faster this time. Everybody ready? You ready? Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes. We all clap hands and toes. Again. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes. We all clap hands and toes. Oh, that was as fast as it could go. How about another song? Do you know the song about the sea? No, I'm the Oh. Now we do the one about the sea, the wavy sea. Do you know? You put your hands like that, make a wave. Put your hand like that. Here is the sea. Right? Here is a boat. There's a boat like that. It's this. You put your thumb up. That's when you say, here is me. Okay? And then there's little fishes wagging their tails, their fins, all right? Let's start off. I won't need the guitar for this. Okay? Let's start off with the sea. Are you ready? Here's the wave. Everybody ready? Wave your hands. That's better. Here is the sea, the wavy sea. Here is a boat, and here is me. And little fishes way down below wiggle their tails. And the way they go. The way they go. Now I see there is a little fish that I saw earlier in this pool. That I, yeah, he's gone, probably gone home. There is something else in the pool over here. Have a look at this. Lots of living things in here. Lots of little creatures in the sea. Yeah, lots of them. Have a look. And this, this one, did you see? You just move very slightly then. They move so slowly, but that's a snail. And he's hanging on to that rock. I don't want to prod, because they don't like to be pushed around too much. And this one here, that's called a sea anemone. Quite a pretty name, isn't it? And in the middle, that's a sea anemone's mouth. They eat. Won't bite me, but he's there. I'm not going to prod or touch. I don't want to be disturbed. Here we have a sea urchin, spiky one. Now, I don't want to touch that one either, even if I could. He has a sharp little spike on. You know what this one is here, don't you? And you've seen lots of those, starfish. You recognise it? Sea snails again, and another sea urchin. Now, wait a minute, I think I saw something move. I shouldn't do this, but I'm just going to lift up this rock. I won't touch anything under there, but something moved underneath. Just gently lift up the rock. I don't want to hurt anybody, but... Yes! A... Oh, there he goes! It was a crab. Can you see him? It's scampering off. I am sorry, Mr. Crab, I disturbed you. See, that's what happens. You pick up rocks, you disturb things. He was happy under there. Sorry. Anyway, have another look. We've got these... Shells here, they're not really shells, they're living creatures as well, so I won't push them, they're hanging on very tightly to the side of this rock here. Right. There are lots and lots of different living things on the beach. You find lots of them when you go walking on the beach. Shells, talking of shells, have a look at these shells down here. Lots of different shells. And they are different, different shapes. Uh, sometimes creatures live inside these shells. Yeah, there's one here, look. That's shaped a bit like a, a bit like a, a thumbnail or a nail, isn't it? Shouldn't like nails that long. A round one. That had something living in inside it once. Ah, now, I remember this when I was little. This one here was called, they used to call it a cornflake shell. 
Well, it does look a bit like a cornflake, doesn't it? Lots of different shells and a pretty one. It's like a fan. Maybe it's called a fan shell, I don't know, but that's what it looks like. Little shell, little shell. Tell me about the ocean. Little shell, little shell, tell me about the sea. Where have you been? Where is your home? Little shell, little shell, that the waves brought to me. Lots of different things you can see on the beach. <laughs> freezing when you come out from the swim? The well, one way to keep warm is to run on the spot. Let's have a run now. I can run as fast as you. 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 Running on the spot. And if you're still cold, jumping on the spot. I can jump as high as you. I can jump as high as you. I can jump as high as you. Jumping on the spot. And if you're cold, for that, best thing to do, go and get something hot to eat. Mmm. Sausages. Barbecue sausages. Do you like sausages? I do. Look, six fat sausages seasoning in a pan. One went pop, and one went bang. Four left. Four fat sausages sizzling in a pan. One went pop. One went, bang. Two fat sausages sizzling in a pan. One went, pop. The other went, bang. All the sausages are cooked. Okay, two of the sausages. Oh, great. I'm We've got starving. two Me each. Too. Only two? Yep. Oh, that's enough. Well, I've got some salad. Good. And some tomato sauce. And we've got bread and butter and some orange juice. Mmm. Great. Well. Pass me your plate, please. Okay. We're going to have our picnic now. See you another time. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Now, who'd like a sausage? I'll have After a you. You've got three. Lady. Thank you. Uh, just three, please. <laughs> Two is all you get. Thank you. 
and noisy. Mm. Cars, buses, people going about their business. Living in the city is hustle and bustle. Living in the city is fun. Cars and buses racing by, building 20 stories high, lots of friends for everyone. But through these huge gates is somewhere quiet and peaceful. The Botanic Garden. But going to the gardens is quiet and peaceful. Going to the gardens is fun. Flowers and bushes growing there, trees and grass and green for gal. Lots of fun for everyone. Going to the city is Going to the gardens is fun. <laughs> Hello, I'm here too, in the Sydney Royal Botanic Garden. If you live in a city, you might have visited some botanic gardens. From these gardens, which are right in the middle of the city, you can see lots and lots of different mm. things. <laughs> Tall city buildings going up, up, up into the sky. And look, there's a, a crane on the top. And that's the harbour. And a flag on top of the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Lots of boats on the harbour. You can see some of the ferries. And a jet cat going across the water. It's passing a little island. See? Oh, whatever the waves. Lots of things to see in the city. Well, we're going to explore the gardens now. You coming, you too? I think I'll come along. Well, I might, I might join you later, <laughs> because I'm going to sit here and sort of take in the... We'll sort of do nothing. And this is a great place to do nothing in. Do you like doing nothing? It's one of my favourite pastimes. They've gone now, so I can just wriggle my toes in the sun, lazy and warm, lazy and warm, wriggle my toes in the sun. Oh, wow, look at this. There are lots of interesting plants and trees in the Botanic Garden. Like this one. The one with the uh, the hard leaves, the spiky, and the funny pineapple thing on the top. And you know, millions of years ago, when dinosaurs lived on the earth, they used to eat these plants. They're called cycads. <laughs> I'm Mr. Stegosaurus. I'm home. What's for dinner, lovey? <laughs> oh, says Mrs. Stegosaurus. I've got your favourite, a nice cycad. Oh, thanks, Peter. Oh, that was lovely. Thank you. There are lots of interesting peas in the garden. Different shapes, different sizes, with all sorts of different leaves. Have a look. Some trees stand tall and reach to the sky. Some droop low and so do I. The gum tree spreads its branches wide and gently sways from side to side. looking tree is called the bottle tree and inside its fat trunk is water you can have a drink from it really it's like a giant drink bottle can you see a face on this tree it has two eyes and a sort of mouth You can see things on this tree too. A tiny creature lives here and goes for walks underneath the bark. 
You can see it like squiggles on a piece of paper. Up they go. Going for a walk. Ooh, I think they'll turn around again. Come back down. Oh, excuse me. And round. Back home again. More insects than trees. High up there. Bees buzzing in and out of that hollow. High up in the tree. Can you see them? Mm. Here is a beehive. Where are the bees? Hiding away where nobody sees. What then come creeping out of the hive? One and two and three, four, five. Do you know that song? Come on, get your hive. Here is the beehive. Where are the bees? Hiding away where nobody sees. What them come creeping out of their hive? One and two and three, four, five. Mm. There are some other creatures in this tree, but I can't see them. They're possums. But I can tell they're here because they're marks on the tree. Marks made by their claws. Tiny marks. Sharp claws. The possums climb up the tree and they go to sleep in the branches. There's some other creatures around here too. Tiny creatures. You probably have these at your place. Ants. They live in the earth a straight line marching up the tree, up, up, and they go up to get food, and then they go back down to the earth again. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah, the ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah, the ants go marching one by one, the little one stops to suck his thumb. And they all went marching down to get out of the rain. Down to get out of the rain, boom boom. Down to get out of the rain, boom boom. <laughs> Do you know that song? Let's sing it again, but this time, this time, it'll be hurrah, big salute. Right, and when we get to the bit that goes boom boom, clap, boom boom. Okay. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, the little one stops to suck his thumb. And they all went marching, down to get out of the rain, boom boom, down to get out of the rain, boom boom. All right, this time, yep. we're going to march while we sing it. And when the little one stops to suck his, suck his thumb, we're going to stop to look at something. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Ready? Good. Now, single file. I'll go at the end. All right. All right. Here we go. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. The ants go marching one by one, one. hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, the little one stops to look. Look at the rock. Oh, oh look. look. A rock. And they all went marching down to get out of the rain, boom, boom. Down to get out of the rain, boom, boom. Left, right, left, right, left. Yeah. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants were marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants were marching two by two, the little one stopped to. Look, the opera house. Oh, look. The opera house. The opera house. Give me a two. <laughs> and they all went marching. Down to get out of the rain, boom, boom. Down to get out of the rain, boom, boom.
count and blow till all the seeds are gone, you've got the time. Well, if we've got a clock, that means it's time for the story. And John and I are going to go and tell it over by the pond. Let's turn. Let's hike. All right. Well, you help me blow the, uh, the seeds off the dandelion puff. You ready? We count as we go. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, there's only a couple left now, four o'clock, oh dear, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, one left, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, oh dear, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, Oh, one more clock! I'm out of breath! And I think John and Monica are ready for the story. <laughs> We're going to tell the story here, using this pond and this wooden bridge. Can you think of a story with a bridge in it? One that goes, trip trap, trip trap, trip trap. <laughs> Who's that tripping over my bridge? The three Billy Goat Scruff, isn't it? Well, I'm going to be the three Billy Goat Scruff, all three of them. Oh. And I'm going to be the scary, ugly troll. Rawr, rawr. <laughs> oh, that's scary. But I can't really get under this bridge, so I'm just going to hide behind here. Rawr. Here's the story. Once upon a time, there were three Billy Goat Scruff. There was Big Billy Goat Gruff. <coughs> Middle Billy Goat Gruff, rather like me, and Little Billy Goat Gruff. Now the three Billy Goat Gruff wanted to go up to the hillside, eat the fresh green grass, and grow fat. But on the way, they had to go over a wooden bridge. And under that bridge lived... <coughs> the horrible, ugly troll, with eyes as big as saucers. <coughs> yes. And a nose as long as a poker. <laughs> Not that long. <laughs> hey, now, here we go. First to go over the bridge. <laughs> little Billy Goat Gruff. That's me, me. Little, oh, little Billy. Here we go. He went. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. Over the wooden bridge. But all of a sudden. <laughs> Who's that tripping over my bridge? <laughs> It's, it's, it's me, little Billy Goat Gruff. I'm going over the hillside to eat some fresh <coughs> green grass and grow fat. Rawr! Well, I'm going to gobble you up. <laughs> oh my, don't eat me, said little Billy Goat Gruff. Wait for my brother. He's middle size, bigger than me, and he'll leave you till you fill you up. <laughs> well, be off with you then. Rawr! So, little Billy Goat Gruff went up the hillside, and next came little Billy Goat Rawr! Gruff. Huh? And that's me as well, so I'll be back as soon as I can. Here I come, bro. Rawr! Rawr! <laughs> oh, I can't wait for that middle-sized fat billy goat to come along the bridge, because I'm getting very hungry. I wish he'd hurry up. Rawr! Middle Billy Goat Gruff this time, isn't it? That's me. And now, do you remember the word? Trap, trip, trap, trip. Okay, here we go. Middle Billy Goat Gruff. Middle Billy Goat Gruff went trip, trap, trip, trap over the wooden bridge, and suddenly... Rawr, 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 rawr. <laughs> Who's that tripping over my bridge? It's me, Middle Billy Goat Gruff, and I'm going over the hillside to eat the fresh green grass and grow fat. Rawr, rawr. Mm, I'm going to gobble you up. Don't eat me. No, you want to wait for my big brother. He's much bigger than I am. You'll enjoy eating him. Mm. Mm. Well, I'll be off with you then. Rah! So Middle Billy Goat Gruff went over the hill to join his brother. And now we have to wait for the big Billy Goat Gruff, which is me again, to get round the pond and get back up and back in the second. Big Billy Goat Gruff went 
over the bridge, trip trap, trip trap, trip trap, and suddenly. Wow! Who's <laughs> that trip trapping over my bridge? Rah! I, Big Billy Go Gruff, I'm going over the hillside to eat the fresh green grass and grow fat. Rah! Well, I'm going to gobble you up. Rah! Now, this is the start of the story where Big Billy Go Gruff charges the troll and throws him in the water. Right? Uh, here we go. A charge. Oh, 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 And the three Billy Goat Grubs were never disturbed by the big ugly troll ever again. <laughs> and that's the end of the story. <sighs> Have to sit down after all that. No more trip trapping. Can you trip trap on your legs? And trip trap like little Billy Goat Grub first. Little trip trap. Trip trap. Trip trap. Trip, trap, and now middle Billy Goat Gruff. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. Now big Billy Goat Gruff. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. No more trip traps. But what about the troll? What sort of noise does he make? He roared, didn't he? He roar? As good as me? This is my roar. You. Oh, is that yours? A bit frightening. Something else roaring over there. A lion. It's not a real lion. It's a statue. It's made out of bronze. We've got a beautiful bronze statue here, guarding the gate. Saw a lion sitting at my gate. Umba barumba. Brum brum, he's sitting there so he won't be late. Um ba ba rum ba, brum brum. I tell you now, just one thing more. Um ba ba rum ba, a brum brum. Statue lions can't really roar. Um ba ba rum ba, brum brum. Remember that one? Um ba ba rum ba. Here we go. Um ba ba rum ba, brum brum. 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 Now, there are more statues over there. Why don't we make up a song about the statues? Come on. There's a boy with wings just like a bird. Oh, um ba ba um ba, brum brum. That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. Um ba ba um ba, brum brum. That man has a huge pitchfork. Um ba ba um ba, brum brum. I don't think I'll say this talk. Um ba ba um ba, brum brum. Um ba ba um ba, brum brum. Um ba ba um ba, brum brum. Um ba ba um ba. Boom, 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 ba, boom, boom. Oh, that's silly over there. Boom, 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 ba, boom, boom. A dolphin swimming in the air. Boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, boom. There's a fellow caught in a slow. Boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, boom. Where's his hanky to blow his nose? Boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, boom. 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 Boom, ba, boom, ba. Boom, boom. Ah, a mother horse with her baby foal. Boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, boom. Horses love to run and roll. Boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, boom. The statues cannot run along. Boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, boom. That's the end of our silly song. Boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, boom. Hey, boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, boom. 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 I'm being a statue. Statues don't move. Can you be a statue too? And oh, relax. We'll do one standing up now. Ready? And still. Don't move your muscles. Don't move your eyes. And oh. <laughs> All right, let's do one with the lion this time. Ready? Statues. Still. Very 
still, right, ready for the roll. And relax. He's good at this, isn't he? Let's shake all the, shake all the stillness out. That's better. There are so many flowers in this garden. All over the, all the gardens here, got flowers everywhere. Have a look at this one. It's, it's a purple soft, such a soft, soft flower on the end. And a very big bush it is, I think it's a big bush. Down here, another colour. This is yellow, isn't it? A yellow flower on the end. And this is sage, a sage bush. Little sage, yellow sage flowers on the end. So delicate. More and more and more colours everywhere. I don't know what that is, but it's still lovely. Ah, you have a look at this little one here. Down here, this tiny little white flower, all on the end here, that's called Sweet William. That's a nice name, Sweet William. And the pretty little ones back here, they're violas. And up here, ah, this is beautiful. Hanging down, just like a Christmas decoration. Wisteria, another Long name, but lovely, isn't it? Wisteria. Purple again. So many colours. How many colours could you see?
can't catch birds. <laughs> but you can catch people. <laughs> you go round and round the garden. Here's another way of saying it. Come on, Colin. And you hold, you hold my hands, John. You shut your eyes. And we go round and round the garden. Okay? Ready? Round, round, round and round the garden, garden like, like a teddy bear. bear. One, One step, two step, chasing steps, 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 Walking through the city, I'm walking down the street, I'm walking through. 